more uh, or up next we have uh, more from the International Conference on Climate Change that believe me you're not going to see any place else. Curious, isn't it? We are back with our continuing coverage of the Heartland Institute's International Conference of Climate Change that no one is covering here in New York City. I want to introduce you now to Anthony Watts, meteorologist at KPA in uh, California. Anthony, good to talk to you. I know you're on the uh, radio program today. We had a fascinating conversation, and these pictures are up on the website. But real quick, what did you do and, and what did you find? Well, what I'm doing is I'm investigating weather stations around the United States. The uh, United States, NOAA, uses 1,221 weather stations spaced all around the United States as their official climate recording station. And what I'm doing, along with a group of volunteers, is going around and examining these stations to find out what exactly is the measurement environment in which the temperatures are being measured. Right, to make That's sure what that the project is about. Okay, show, I, first I want to put up the Tucson chart. If you have the Tucson temperature chart, Tell me about this chart. Well, this one we identified from data early on. Uh, Steve McIntyre of Climate Audit helped identify this particular station as having the sharpest positive trend of any uh, climate monitoring station in the United States. And so we sent out our volunteers to find it. We found it, and when we did, we were quite surprised to find it in the middle of a parking lot at the University of Arizona at Tucson, Look the up. Atmospheric Sciences <laughs> Department. Right there, hang on just a second. So you know, America, Right there on the blacktop. What do you think is going to happen when the sun goes up? That is, that is outside of the standards and what you're supposed to have, right? Absolutely. Okay. NOAA has a 100-foot rule, 100 foot away from asphalt, okay. from sidewalks, those things. And it certainly is uh, less than 100 foot away <laughs> from those things. Yeah, it's like three feet above it. Let me, let me show you another picture here. This is another one. Uh, that has an air conditioning unit right next to it. Tell me about this one. Well, I believe this one is what? Is this uh, Oregon? Yes. Uh, okay. No, this is no wait. This is the fire station one. Okay. This is the this is the station that I found in Marysville, California, that started this whole project. When I discovered that they were measuring the temperature and and the, the device that you see labeled there MMTS yeah. is the official temperature sensor. It's a little different than other sensors, but it's right at the front end of a parking space. Now they park their vehicles front end into that parking space. The temperature sensor sits here. The radiator from the vehicle is here. Now that's just one aspect of it. On okay. another side, okay. if you see... No, okay. Hold I, I, on. You're real, I, I'm sorry, I'm out of time, but please, you'll find all of this information on the website. We'll give you a link at glenbeck.com. Anthony, it's a pleasure. We'll, uh, we'll see you tonight. From New York.